There's been a big push for more diversity in Hollywood. We're seeing it in one of the new projects and at the Oscars. It's also the focus of an ABC special tonight. And joining me right now to talk about the new face of Hollywood is ABC's Juju Chang. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. How are you? Happy Memorial Day. Yes, same to you. And we're talking about this special. It comes on the heels of what really was a historic Oscars sweep that we saw from everything, everywhere, all at once. But what did you find out about the overall feeling? Are things really changing in Hollywood beyond the awards? I think that the uh, Oscar sweep, which was historic, was a reflection of all the change that's gone on in Hollywood over the decades. But they were hard-won victories, right? Michelle Yeoh herself talked about break, helping break down the um, bamboo ceiling and shattering it into a gazillion pieces. But for 40 years, she worked in Hollywood, and she talks about how she felt like she was put in an Asian box, and she couldn't get roles that, that she felt were meaningful or were central in the character. She told me a story, though, about when she came to play James Bond. She was the first Chinese Bond girl. And I said, I read that, you know, you didn't want to be eye candy, that you wanted to fight aside alongside the men. And she said, yeah, I didn't want to be a Bond girl. I wanted to be Bond. And I think that <laughs> speaks to how much barrier breaking she's done throughout her whole career. And I think that, you know, so much progress has been made during that time. But we take a look back all the way to Anime Wong, to James Hong's long eight decade career in Hollywood and how much out and out racism that he experienced as well as, you know, stereotyping. Um, and then we talk about the personal struggles behind some of these actors' stories. So, so Ki Hui Kwan, we saw him get emotional on the Oscar stage, and mm -hmm. we learned that his family fled Vietnam when he was very, very young. And his struggle, his family's struggles, reflect what Asian American immigrants, and frankly, a lot of immigrants to this country from wherever you came from, experience when your parents make hard sacrifices and they work to make a better life for your family. And he, you know, had early success in Hollywood, as you know, with like Goonies and mm -hmm. Raiders of the Lost Ark. And Steven Spielberg was so kind to him. But then there was a 20-year drought where he couldn't get a job, and it forced him out of being an actor. And so this return to the stage, this triumphant return for him, was inspired when Crazy Rich Asians came on board, right, and was a success. And he was like, huh, maybe things have changed in Hollywood. And he says very poignantly in our film that, like, when you think of Oscar-winning actor, you think of Bobby De Niro or Tom Hanks or Clint Eastwood, you don't, he said, he, you don't think of this. And mm -hmm. that's why Key and Michelle and everyone else represent the new face of Hollywood, and, and that's what we're getting at tonight. Yeah, and let me ask you a question personally. Why was this project so important to you to tell their stories? Well, first of all, Chris, you know what it's like as a journalist when you go out to uh, interview some of your heroes. And I felt like a kid in a candy shop in some ways because these people have been working both behind the scenes and in front of the camera to tell stories um, that that reflect Asian American experience. But for me, you know, a lot of these stories, even everything, everywhere, all at once, in its core is about an immigrant couple and their sacrifices and their distance because of cultural and language gaps. So it resonated with me so deeply um, that for the first time in my 35-year career, my, my voice cracked and I couldn't mm. get through a question because I felt it so deeply. Um, you know, I've gotten emotional plenty of times listening to other people's triumphs and tragedies and horrors, but um, this one really touches deep. It's a beautiful hour that we put together. We're all really proud of it, Chris. You make me really want to watch now. I was going to anyway, but thank you very much for joining us this day. Yay. Juju Chang, we will be watching tonight. And viewers out there can watch, too, the new face of Hollywood, a Soul of a Nation presentation tonight at 7. It is right here on WFAA.